the plane. <laughs> this is a gut cut in here. You boys. You boys. Well, it's um, 27th of March. Just doing my one, my first raw hunt, so the year. Trying to find myself a nice camp spot. I've come a fair way in already, so nice and hot and sweaty. I'm at some good open beach at the moment and trying to find a nice level campsite that's away from the breeze, away from where I want to hunt. So bloody good. Stags, no boring, nothing. So, yeah, I don't know. I think we're um, we're due for a big southerly change tonight. So, temperature's going to be much cooler tomorrow. So that may bring a wee bit of activity. So, I'll watch class here for another another hour or so, and then go and set my camp up properly and park up for the day, I suppose. Read my book, and I'll get back here this evening. now so I'm probably just going to park up and read my book for a few hours. Been a bit of a dull morning unfortunately. Weather's nice. Do uh, see what this afternoon brings I suppose. Loving the old cup of soups at the moment. Um, bloody good treat when it's a bit chilly. <coughs> These bloody super sensations or whatever you call them are pretty good. What do you want a uh, Vietnamese chicken and some shit take mushrooms with something else noodles. They're bloody tasty. Good way to fill the day in. Now it was just after 4 pm now. Temperatures dropped quite a bit, so we're gonna go and um, get back up on our high point. It's clouded over quite a lot, so the weather's definitely changing. But I'll get up there for a look anyway. I've got to my glass in spot for the evening. It's um, been fooled by Google Earth again. Everything's much bigger than I imagined. starting to move. I've just had some bulls pop up behind me which, which surprises me actually because my wind will be going that way most of the day. Some reasonable looking bulls in there actually. Like 
don't know, he might be 13. I can remember him here looking for stags, and it's not a giant bull tar, so. Might leave him. It's gotta be yuck. And it's cold. Might give it another 10 minutes, and then we'll be to camp and have a hot dinner, I think. So if any critters are going to be out, they'd be out now. That was a bit of a, yeah, a dud evening on the deer front. Just heading back to camp now. Those bulls are over there on that face there. It's 340 away. Feels weird walking away from them, but it's all good. Good to see some critters, but no deer. No deer at all. Okay. Oh, well, it's the uh, evening stalk done and dusted. Pretty uneventful to be honest. Talking to some grub and have a good sleep, see how the morning brings. Oh, I just climbed to the high point just above camp. I should have recorded that, but I was talking to the boys on the RT who are camped way further up the valley. Um, they had a bit of action this afternoon. They sat off a hind and yearling for most of the afternoon and then um, yeah right on dark a mob of deer with a stag walked out and they duffed the stag by the sounds of it so that's pretty exciting I think that'd be Rob's first red stag so I'm real stoked for him um, sounds like they sat off this deer for like three and a half hours which pretty awesome patience so good on them yeah, I've just checked the um, in reach weather looks like it's supposed to get a bit nasty overnight and in the morning it's going to do a real sudden southerly change at about 8 o'clock in the morning it might bring some snow with it so um, that'll last for a few hours hopefully and clear straight after that so might end up being a wee bit of a sleeping anyway we'll get back to tend and have a feed well I've been in a bit of a hurry just packed up I thought I'd try and beat this weather back down to the valley floor but as soon as I broke the bush back onto the top <laughs> Snowflakes started falling, so I probably hadn't beaten up, probably made a pretty dumb decision, but I'm committed now, so I'm going for it. We'll see how we go. I've been going for about an hour or so, and it's just real nice and quiet with a bit of the snow falling. But there's just no deer sign at this beach. I've been any roaring or anything, so I'll just keep mooching my way down.
digits are getting a bit chilly. To be honest, I'd rather this than rain at the moment. So the wind behaves, it's actually not bad hunting, it's just bloody cold. Oh, well, I'm back down to the literally floor now. The uneventful, oh, so I just one wee day. Bug all deer sign. No noise. Yeah. 28th of March, I would have expected there to be a bit more action, but I guess the deer aren't there, the deer aren't there, are they? So, I'm just going to stooge back along the valley flats to the um, to the hut up here, about 2k away. And I'll uh, regroup and come up with another plan, dry some gear out. Yeah, pretty good. Oh well, just arrived back at the hut. I'm bloody glad I got off the tops when I did, because she's... Um, I don't know if you can tell, it's actually snowing pretty good right now. Gonna be a white landscape out there when it clears. Um, but yeah, nothing for we'll be down the valley floor. Yeah, might rest up for the rest of the day or make another plan for this evening and maybe get out there again. See ya. Bit of HP. Beach leaves in that one. Yeah. <laughs> mm. oh, a little bit slow getting away this morning, but um, only because I spent the first probably hour sitting out in the middle of the riverbed looking and listening. Didn't hear a single thing, but probably seen. <laughs> Probably 20 odd deer, so a couple of younger stags sort of chasing the girls around, but yeah, not a lot of serious action going on, so um, yeah, it's all been a bit interesting to be honest. No rules. I'm just gonna go for a mooch and a bush hunt today. At least for the morning, see how that goes. Now, um, I can actually see two mobs of deer with a stag each on the other side in grassy head basins. But I don't know the spotter with me, I can't tell how good they are. But they're definitely doing rutty stag things, charging around, doing all sorts. So, uh, yeah, bit of a bugger, not much up here. I'll oh, just parked up up here, having a bit of, bit of a lunch. Not the greatest country to glass, so glass to that other side's pretty epic. Um, I still see those other two mobs of deer with a stag each. There's a few nanny tar just above me here, a couple of handy away. Um, yeah, pretty uneventful morning. Just talked through this amazing beach forest and no action. So I'm kind of holding high hopes for this afternoon as I stooge my way back down. Yeah. Pretty good. It's found a big flat terrace. Yeah. Big swampy bit on it, and to be honest, this time of year I expected something like this to be pretty well wallowed up. But no, nothing real surprising. Oh, well, it was a bit of a uh, frustrating morning. Well, it's 2 30 now, not far from the hut, to be honest. Um, but yeah. Just lacking action. I um, bumped a hind and a yearling in the bush on the way back down. Well, I didn't bump them, they didn't know I was there. I sat off and watched them for a bit. But it was too tricky to get anything on camera. But other than that, she's pretty tough going. So 
I will um, get back to the hut and have a bit of a feed and then um, make a bit of a plan for tonight but I think I might have to change the plan up a bit from getting in the bush and having a roar to just sitting off a clearing or a slip and hoping something comes out because I'm not seeing any other way really yeah anyway we'll get back there I think I worked out why it's not happening for me that's why it's gonna happen tonight Sucker, pulled enough light and I shot him about a hundred meters away. I was laying flat right down the middle of the river. I don't know how much you can see, but I got him. Pretty stoked. He's 12, beautiful, even 12. And he was the one that's been playing cat and mouse with me all afternoon. Ha, huh. that's pretty exciting. Pretty stoked. Better roar right down on the flat like that too. Would have been a waste of time trying to video anything because it was all pretty full on. And then um, obviously it's too dark, but look at that. How cool is that? What a buzz. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a bit of a shame. I better get a decent photo with him. Um, because the scenery is bloody epic in here. It's just going to look like a uh, shot it in a bloody paddock under a spotlight by the time we get a decent photo. But it is what it is. It all tells a story, I suppose. But yeah, pretty stoked with that. Nice 12 pointer off public land and a bit of roaring action at the beach. Shit. Been working bloody hard for it, that's for sure. No, I'm really stoked with that. We'll. Uh, Rob's on a mission now, he's going to come over with an empty pack and we're going to do this bugger justice and take as much meat off him as we can, so he's still in really good nick, he obviously hasn't been roaring too long, so yeah, pretty bloody cool. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, well, I'm thankful that uh, Rob's come to help me. We've got two back legs, two back stakes, and his noggin. I've got about two and a half K across the river flat. Let's get into it. sort of carried on running and then a little bit closer a feral cat took off look at the past it smoked before we're on here fuck I can't believe that like it was a hell of a commotion but I managed to take that off over here and kill it right in front of me that's insane bloody killers those cats mmm Mm. Don't know how much of that you would have seen on video, but I absolutely cocked it up. Textbook stalk. Cut them off without coming back in the bush. Perfect shooting lane. He stopped a bit further than the the 20 that I marked, and I think I shot straight below him. Oh, that's pretty gutting. Nice big 12 pointer. Oh, but I don't know. Could have pulled it off though. Could have pulled it off. <sighs> what the hell? I'm just about to break back out into the River flats. Um, bit of frustrating morning. Jesus. Yeah, well, that's bow hunting for you there. I think I need some practice. Practice, practice. I don't know how you practice with that, buddy. That moment when you're fucking 20, 20 away from a 12 point stag. And... Yeah, how do you practice for that? Because <laughs> it was the adrenaline that got me. 100% I'll admit that. But anyway, on some other news, sounds um, like the boys have got another stag this morning, so bloody cool of them to both tick their first stag. Um, yeah, real stoked for them. And just left them to it, and they've worked it all out themselves and managed to get a stag each, so that's so cool. Sounds like this one's quite good too. Big 11 pointer. But um, yeah, so awesome. Oh, well, there's some uh, there's some horn there. Um, we're pretty pretty stoked with those results. Got a, a 10, 11, and a 12 pointer. 
Um, really cool actually. Quite taken back by um, some of the ages of them we were skinning the heads out before sort of comparing the jaws. Um, this guy at this end's got a huge skull on him and he had a way bigger body size by the sounds of it. And these two here were quite a bit smaller but these two here were much older. Um, these two here are sort of leading on to their later end of life. They're not um, like really really old but they're definitely mature stags where this guy here was young as and he's way bigger body, way mass, way bigger skull. Um, so yeah, quite interesting to be honest. But um, very cool heads though, very cool.